it is yet another time to experience the power of God as Apostle Joshua Selman ministers. Get ready for an encounter with the power of the Holy Spirit. Is it true that the load I'm carrying on my head can leave? Find out what he did to darkness. Do you know how difficult it is to drive darkness? Because you cannot hold it. Darkness is not like a car that you push away. How do you drive darkness? Do you blow it to go away? But when the Spirit of God arrived, darkness left. So don't be surprised. Help them please. That in one moment, you will check that pain and not find it again. Listen. Listen. Let it not surprise you that while you are seated, he leaves, you see, that because he is God, he does not leave, need to live here to be where you want him to be. He can be in both places. So while he's here, he can be in your office immediately, correcting something that needs to be corrected. Listen, tonight is a miracle service, and I needed to tell you this. The Holy Spirit can help men. There are many of you who are accessing power tonight. Not just power to run, but power to store. Yesterday I told you there is a certain speed that the plane must get to lift. It is a risk for the plane to lift if it has not gotten to that speed. The Holy Spirit can provide that speed so that you will rise. For those who are sick in their bodies, I want you to know that the helper is here. For those who have cried and said, Is there a way? Ah. He'll move your mountains. He'll cause walks to fall with his power. You'll perform and there is nothing. There are those of you, what is happening is that it's coming to rest upon you like a hand upon the edge and wisdom that he will breathe upon you. You will come out and do something that will shake a local state. They will say, from when come this wisdom? What dimension of wisdom did you just come with? Listen, there are some of you who came here like strangers, but you are living as prophets. You came here as just prayer warriors, but you are living as, as giants. Because from your your power in the spirit. Listen. The biblical proof of spiritual power is when you say it and it happens. For I am a man under authority, having men under me. I say to one, go, and he goeth. I say to one, come, and he cometh. And God said, and there was. And what he said that manifested, he saw it, and it was good. He can turn the weak to become strong. He can change SS to AA. He can turn a woman's... I'm saying this so that take your eyes away from the darkness and look at him. Help them. Please help them. I'm about to pray now. You see, for as long as you are focused on the darkness, you will not be able to see his glory. I am a product of His grace. I am a product of the healing power of God. It's not just that He uses me to bring it. I am a beneficiary. I know what it means to be plagued by sicknesses and infirmities. I have seen firsthand the power of God. I don't just say He heals because I read it in the Bible alone. My life is a testament. I am a living epistle. I have been oppressed by demon spirits. I know what it means to minister as a man of God. Not an unbeliever, and yet still be oppressed. But I also know the taste of victory. You can taste and see. Not just hear and assume. You can taste. There is an experience to his ministry. 
Listen, when we begin to pray, I like for your heart to be open. Because there are many of you, you may not be sick in your body, but hear me. For the sake of those who are connected to you, there are graces you must receive this night. If God has called you to bring a certain kind of revival in any good state, don't sit down assuming it will happen. By what? The Bible says, say unto God, how terrible art thou in thy ways. It is through the greatness of thy power that thy enemies submit themselves to you. It's time to speak to certain forces in Enugu to say and it happens. It's time to open certain doors, even ancient doors, that close the destinies of men. The messianic prophecy, Isaiah 61, it says, The Spirit of the Lord. Ah, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me to preach glad tidings to the meek, to bind up the brokenhearted, to comfort those who mourn. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of prison. Have you ever seen a man in a spiritual prison? There are people who are in the correctional centers. They are limited. That is an adumbration of what happens to a man in a spiritual prison. Just because you are moving physically does not mean you are free. There are prison doors that need to be opened tonight. Atmosphere Sleep now Chains be broken I will pray for you But the person I'm seeing in my vision is wearing white Not just yellow The person I'm seeing in my vision is wearing white Kalis Kabera Subara Hashtade Beleko Kusiata Engrakatos Kalagatos Kabina Hashtaba Maka Prakatos Kalika Posta de Katia Someone in one minute wherever you are I want you to open your mouth and everything you know that must live your life tonight In this no negotiation It must go Outside, inside, pray The helper has come. Everything that needs to leave must leave because the helper has come. Having obtained help from God, I continue. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray. I'm going to lay my hands on this gentleman. And is this the gentleman I spoke No, I'm not sure. One that I spoke about in the morning. In the name of Jesus. Where is he? Let him come and start. I'm going to pray now. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. May your power rest upon this gentleman. Let it be a new season of grace for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is the man I spoke to in the morning. What do you do? You are a businessman. I want to pray for you. That's the call of God upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. More than the business you are doing, may the grace of God rest on you. My dear, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands and I speak even over your family. I'm seeing a chain around your hand in the name that is above all names right now. I decree as it's happening to her, I pray over someone. The chain that has tied down the productivity of every family, every destiny. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, may that be loose right now. Be loose right now. Be loose right now. Be loose right now. For this gentleman, I pray for you. May the Lord show you mercy in the name of Jesus. Uzo Chuku, Uzo Chuku, Uzo Chuku, Halak, Per, Shani, Stella. Who is that? Uzo Chuku. What does that mean? 
God's way. Who is Mr. Chuku? Huh? Her brother. Joshua Nimak. Selman was born 25th of June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. Also known as Apostle Joshua Selman is a Nigerian gospel minister, conference speaker, and televangelist. He is the founder and senior pastor of the Eternity Network International, ENI. The ENI have a program, Koinonia, a gospel fellowship held weekly in Samaru, Zaria, Kaduna State, as well as in Abuja, Nigeria. Joshua Nimak Selman was born 25 June 1980 in Zaria, Kaduna State, Nigeria. All contents on this channel are for the sole purpose of educating, informing, and transforming people for the betterment of mankind and the glory of God. Please, if you find our contents helpful, then subscribe to our channel and smash the like button. God bless you and see you in our next video.